Hello, my friends. <laughs> Catherine and Erica here from Catherine Puller Designs. We are excited to be stamping with you today. Thank you for joining us. I have two cards that I'm preparing to make. Preparing. I have prepared. I have prepared. I am to prepared. Make. <laughs> <I'm> wonderful. <laughs> it's good to know. I'm going to be focusing on some embossing. Well, one specific embossing technique. Okay. That is really fun. Actually, my favorite embossing technique is anything like with a resist. Yeah. But this one is spectacular. I um, like a good emboss resist. Oh, yeah. I do have scratch paper here. Especially when you use white because it just really pops. Oh, totally. But it can be fun with clear, too, depending on what you're doing. We're going to use clear embossing powder today. Okay. So how is everyone? Pop in and let us know where you're tuning in from. We love seeing our friends all around the world. We, I hear we have a beautiful day today. I haven't been outside since yes. I got here. It's actually a little warm for my taste for January. But yeah, <laughs> it's supposed to be 70 here today. Anyone see anything wrong with what she just said? A little warm for my taste in here January? In, in January. It's February 9th. Oh. It's February It's a 8th. little warm for my taste here in February. It's February 8th. Not it's even still close to being January not anymore. Not June. Because you know last year she thought it was 2023 already. Let's not start that. <laughs> we don't have to talk about that. No, I feel like I'll I'll start getting confused then, and then it let's will get, not get more intense. Right. So let's pop down. Yeah. And well, this is not where I'm starting, but uh, this is the half circle background. Look at Donna's funny joke. <coughs> she said she's ready to be wowed with capital W O W. Yes, we are going to use wow embossing powder today. <laughs> she knows. Uh, I just plugged in the microphone. Let me know if that is better or worse. Better one? <laughs> better two. Better one or one. So I'm going to use the half circle background in conjunction with the half circle cover plate. This is going to be uh, the base of my card. I'm going to build on top of it. But I'm actually not sure what color I want to stamp this in. One thing that I love about these two products is how we created them to go together. So you can use this piece on its own. How cool is that? You could just do white on white. You could color these and lay them back in. You can also stamp this background stamp. Let's see, how does it go? And then lay the cover plate on top. And it has just a small border around and it will reveal the stamped images. How cool is that? So I'm not sure what color I want this to be stamped yet. So we're gonna build the top of our card first before, and then go back to this. We're pulling out some classics from the archives today. And then be sure to stay tuned, <laughs> stick around to the end, because those of you that love sneak peeks, I'm gonna be showing some new product at the end. It is part of our Club Circe. And while I'm stamping and embossing, in a couple minutes as I get going with that, mm -hmm. we can talk about what Club Circe is if you are not a subscriber. Okay. But these, the Hello Mini cover plate and the um, half circle cover plate and half circle um, <clears throat> die, those are available in the shop right now. And with this mini cover plate, you also have <coughs> a lot of options. Where's you can use Sorry. the letters on their own on your card front. You can use it with the frame. You could inlay it into the frame. So very similarly to that up to the cover plate, there's a lot of versatility with this particular die um, and different ways that you can use it on your card to make uh, your card interesting. Look at the little font on this hello. It's so cute. It's like H-E-L-L-O. -L -L. So what's everybody doing? We've got Wisconsin with snow, and we feel we feel those of us who are here, and there's like people who are buried in snow, and then people who are like, why is it so hot? <laughs> Which is none of us can be happy. <laughs> this is my color palette. Erica, you pulled this color palette for me ages ago, and it's been sitting on my desk, and I've been wanting to use it, and today's the day. How do we like this order? H E L L O. Do you like this order right here? That's cute. Okay. So well, this is like a little winter color. Let's get started. So we're gonna take minted. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Do I have any cough drops around? Um, I don't think I do. Uh -huh. So I'm dabbing my uh, letter right onto my ink pad. My letter is gonna be wet now, so I'm gonna cover it with embossing powder. 
I'm going to grab my little tweezers and I'm going to pick that up. And I was quick, so my ink was still wet, and then the embossing powder sticks to the letter. So now I have basically a custom embossing powder for all of my ink colors because now I'm going to have minted embossed letter, which is really fun. Powder right on that one small spot. So one thing I'm wondering, this has like a little bit of a mottled look. I wonder if my clear is old. Should I get a new jar? Maybe, or did you get it too hot? Oh yeah, it does look weird. Yeah. Do you want to grab a new jar? Sure. Ooh, I got a Ricola. Are Every time I see this, Ricola? I go, Ricola! <laughs> Okay, so let's try a new jar of embossing powder and see if I get a little bit smoother look. I don't know, has that happened to anybody else? And in the meantime, we are going to move over to E. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a little mottled looking. And while I'm waiting for her, I'm gonna grab this card base, fold this in half, And we're going to build on top of this for the card with the background and the cover plate piece. All right, let's see if this works or how this comes out. Thank you. Trisha had to help me. Okay, clear gloss, brand new. <clears throat> Shake your powder, Donna suggested. Oh, okay. That might help. Definitely gonna get inky fingers today. Any more mini cover plates coming? You never know, Debbie. Oh. Like a mini cover plate? All right. That seems about the same. I'm not sure what. Need any in here today? I don't know, but it still looks fine. You can also use embossing glitter and have colored glitter letters, which is also really fun. So next up is Martini. 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 <laughs> I love that negative whatever H you have over there from where you use the mini pad. Oh yeah. So cute. You could do a card like that too. Lay your letters down, stamp over top with the minis, and make a little word on the card front with that. Absolutely. And party dress for the next L. Karen says she has the same problem and she has to let them dry first. Okay. Stay. It looks fine. It looks shiny. Mm -hmm. If I dip it in and do it again, because you could do it several times to get a thick covering of embossing powder on there. That's a cool look. And aquatini for the O. For the O. <clears throat> Did you have Ricola? Was R that yours? Did I have Ricolas? <laughs> yeah, in my purse. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I came through in a pinch. Oh, you know what? Well, I think I know why this is doing this. Because the ink was kind of bubbled up on there. Oh. So that could be yeah. giving me the model look. Which is fine because it's a cool look. So we can experiment with that. Let me grab one of these. 
just for kicks. It takes a little longer. It's extra steps, but let's do yeah. this. Yeah, if you so. let it dry, then you have to then she's saying hit it with Versamark. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have to let it. You have to hit it with Versamark before you see how we got bubbles. So so that's probably what was happening. It's a super juicy ink pad. So. Yes. So probably if I had done direct to paper, or you know if I'd just gone like this, and then picked up my embossing powder, and then it would be smoother. I'm budding. Yep. Okay. And then. Oh, I have the key here. Sorry. Oh, thanks. I was embossing some friends. <laughs> okay. I was embossing you some friends. <laughs> all right, so that is all dry. And then we'll just pick up the embossing ink. A little bit more of a smooth look. A little bit. I always thought when I did that it was because I overcooked it. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Sometimes I overcook things. I do too. <laughs> I think Get you excited. have the lid. I do. Thanks. Thank you. All. all right. So then we're going to take a little layer here. And I have my finger prints all over it. <coughs> you can cover that up with a letter. Yeah, let's uh, wipe my hands off. So how's our friends doing? What's going on? In Everybody's doing great. They're just world hanging in. Wide web. Seeing what's happening. Watching the world go by. Well, now I have ink all over that. Oh, Catherine. I know. It's all over. So let's cut out another one. Luckily, it's just paper. It's just paper. All right. Thank you. Okay. We'll run this through the big shot and get some clean pieces. Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, sorry. golly. Sorry. <laughs> We're bumping into each other, taking your fingers off. You need that layer as well, eh? Huh? You need the outside layer as well, eh? Um, I'm good. I got this piece. Here is this. Thank you. You're and then welcome. I'm going to take a piece of this score tape. I'm going to cut it down. You could write, hello. <laughs> and we'll center this here. And then this becomes a sticker. Yes, Sherry, you can layer up the embossing powder after you've used the heat tool, definitely. And layer that right on top. Oh, you know what? This has like some splatters, and that makes me feel like I want to do some splattering on this. Well, that's fine. You want one of the colors in your ink refill? Yeah, let me just do that. So I just need a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a quick little fun. Just for some artistic addition. An artistic addition. <laughs> and add this over. Although, should I do some pink too? I think so. A little party dress. Nice. And I think I also need some martini. Catherine is totally playing the if you give a, is it a pig a muffin? Mm -hmm. Who is it? If you give a mouse If you give a mouse a cookie. You gotta do this. I think there's a pig a muffin that. too, but. <laughs> yeah, you can totally get like an enamel look if you keep layering it up. You just want to try to not like get it too hot. So letting it cool in between is probably a good tip. All right, let's kind of zoom in here a bit. Mm -hmm. Now I've got ink everywhere. 
Oh, so boy. then it's just laying these pieces down in, doing a little inlaid die cutting. And that's easy breezy because you already have your adhesive on the background. Mm -hmm. So this is just... You're not in the frame. Come to the left. There you go. Score tape. A moose a muffin, Jeez. a pig a pancake. Thanks, Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> Knew you guys would come. It's been a while us. since I've read any children's books to anyone, so. <laughs> oh, these colors. So fun. Oh, bye, Trisha. Oh, whoops. Hold on. The little O. Yeah, that one you've got to get lined up just uh -oh. so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get in there, baby. Oh, my goodness. That's so cute. Okay. I love the effect that you get. And honestly, I kind of like that it looks a little textured and bubbly. That's fun. Yeah, it is fun. So what is what do we call that? We call it a Bob Happy Accident. <laughs> Don't schmear. Okay. Your inky thumbs. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay. I made you some oh, friends. You did. Mm -hmm. So we have to do this piece. Okay. And I think it would be fun. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. See, this is one of the things that's great about minis. I could ink up these with mint, minted. Let me pull this out of the way so we don't get it all. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so one of the great things about the mini ink pads is that you can ink up smaller parts of your stamps. So I'm just inking up one row at a time. So we went, came in here doing uh, embossing techniques and we're doing all sorts of things now. So selective inking, splattering, Next to stuck the holes. Yes. Oh, this ink pad size is perfect. Oh, perfect. nice. Perfect. Then martini. I think that geo with this funky font is going to be really fun. I think so too. If you're just joining in, we are just having some fun today. We have just done some fun embossing on a mini cover plate. And now we are playing with a background stamp that also has a cover plate buddy creating a cool background. So we are just mixing and matching techniques and products yeah. from our crafty stash. And I think I have embossing powder all over this. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Next up, party dress. I don't even think those have to be like completely covered. It's kind of like they get a little texture to them, which is fun. If you wanted. Yeah. Nice. And then Aquatini. Perfect. Simon Hurley. How's it going, buddy? Oh, Simon, what's up? Simon, were you just in like the Caribbean or something like oh, that? Oh, Are what? you all tan and lush what? now? <laughs> Go ahead and make us all feel jealous. Let us hear all about it. <laughs> <clears throat> Cute. I'm going to beach this weekend, but it's going to be 50 and raining. Yeah, you won't get tan. <laughs> no. Okay. All right, want me to take that out of the way? Sure. Out of the way, ski. Okay, then this cover plate just layers right on top of there, and it just gives extra texture and dimension, which is really fun. And then if you want to pop this piece up on foam tape, that is super fun, too. Yeah. You got a lot of layers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to trim this down a little to make sure there's none. Uh-huh. No extra layer not super tan Simon I don't tan at all I say I stay looking like Casper year-round huh. 
You wouldn't know if I spent time in the Caribbean. <laughs> well, I'd get a little bit of a farmer's tan probably. And <laughs> My kids have olive yeah. skin, and they tan really really easily and they get really dark in the summer little brown bunnies and when my oldest was a baby i would take her out a couple times and she would be so dark and i would feel people would comment about it and i would feel like i had to say i swear i put sunscreen oh i promise she's just got that um that skin tone that likes to oh yeah she tans right up gorgeous okay then that is fun. This goes this way. Where did the where did you go, Simon? What island or islands? We love to talk about travel. Yes. And food. So we're eating lunch. <laughs> travel and food. Although I think you're out west of it, so you're probably not eating lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes our friends are like, lunch? I'm still eating breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. Hello. Oh, that's so fun. Cute. Oh, that's, that's super fun. cute. So, Love it. We have embossing using your ink pads. We have splattering. Oh. oh, yeah. Did you decide you didn't need it? No, I want this. Thank you for reminding me. I don't me. think I put it in the right place, though. Unless Where's you're the stamp set? You want to put it in the frame? little one. Oh, yeah. So I grabbed the... I um, told her I needed a friend. Hey, 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 sentiments. And there was a little friend in here, and it just looked like a nice size. This one's pretty well loved, so it's kind of hard to read. Um, and then I just embossed it with white embossing powder on black card. So she'd have a little friend to pop on there. So she'd have a little friend to pop on there. Bonaire Lo... La Romana in Aruba. I've never heard of La Romana, but it sounds La Romantica. <laughs> it sounds La La Ro La Luscious. <laughs> La Lovely. La Ro <laughs> Amazingness. What? <laughs> okay, so just pop that little friend up oh, on the hole. Perfect. Look, look at that. Look where I put that. I was like, oh, it's gonna go down here. No, that's cute. Nope, right over the O. You guys. Yes. Stop it. All right. Okay. So next. next. It should further more sneaky peeks. Are they asking? Well, we've got some friends who are always ready for a little so, bit of some sort of bean. Earlier in the week, I shared some things that are coming out in Club Circe. Last week. Last week. Yeah, time flies. So we have a fun crafting theme for our next Club Circe products that go out after the 15th of the month. So you have until... Uh, the 14th of February to sign up to get these. Basically, if you're a deluxe member, you're getting more than the value of one stamp set for free with your um, subscription. So you're going to get two stamp sets. Here's a peek at one of them. You're going to get two. You can get the basic, and it's two stamp sets. It The club price is 15% off. If you get deluxe, you also get the dies and the the subscription price. Yeah, forty-seven ninety-five. It's forty-seven ninety-five, <laughs> and it's basically like getting a stamp set. For, it's usually the value is more. Last month it was more than fifteen dollars for free that they got. Yeah, and, and then, this this one's pretty good too. The one of the sets of dies is. Oh my goodness. So cute. Look at that. It's so cute. And I love okay. how this person built like a scene, but this is just like iconic little, this is more like what I would make. <coughs> but that always wows me. I did this one. I think I did it for Instagram Reel. That cute. probably went up today maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But I was going to make a cute little card and I <clears throat> have one more thing from this set of products that I wanted to show you. So first thing, look at this. Ready? Watch. <laughs> this is delightful. <laughs> Ready? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wait for it. Ta-da! Look at how cute. It's a little ball of yarn. <laughs> so cute. Mm. Love that. that just so. like so many color options for this. Um, you really could go any direction because thread and yarn and so on and mm -hmm. so forth. 
comes in gazillions of colors. So gazillions. it's like a perfect uh, the embroidery. Yes. Yeah. So oh, oh, thanks, Simon. Oh, what? Where's my embroidery floss? Okay, so we want know. to have actual floss on <laughs> the embroidery thingy. So hmm, let's see. Let's do martini. You can have floss in any color. How fun is that? Okay, so there's martini. Let's do deck the halls. Ah, oh, so that fun. is not deck the halls. Minted. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing you're here. I was expecting dark green. That surprised me. I was like, oh wait a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes we don't know what we're saying, <laughs> or I don't. <laughs> or you scramble okay. the lid. And then let's do party dress. So here's a great, great question for our friends. Have you ever scrambled up your lid and then yeah. been so disappointed because you had a card going really, really well and then you used the wrong color? Now we're gonna do deck the halls thread. Ta -ta -ta! Oh my gosh, so cute. Adorable. It's ready for the piece de resolution. Mm -hmm. Okay. This I'm gonna show you a whole set of dies that you're gonna oh get. Oh my word. I know. She just, so you're gonna get look. Letting all of the cat look out of the bags. So this is a little pinking edge. You guys know how we love our layers. And then you have a little piece. This is like, my it's mom has these. It yeah. says handmade by grandma. And she sews these into everything she makes for the girls. So it's a little, you know, piece to put on your projects. How cute is that? Can you even with the scissors? <clears throat> Ready to see them in action? Look at the, oh my gosh. Your hands are so inky. My hands are so inky, so I can't hold these up because I have so much ink. Look at these scissors. So I used chunky embossing powders on the handles. You can use Just Desserts trios works really well. The Moonlight trio works really well. You could just do silver or brass or gold. You could also use the Coffee with Catherine trio for the scissors. And then you can also do the handles just like we did these letters. So dip the handle into your ink pad and then emboss. Look how good those orange, like how glossy that, that looks really like a stamp or like a pair of scissors. So cute. There's also one more trio that I had out yesterday. Oh, it's probably right here this one. The alchemy. So let's do are those silver a Seth smudge. After? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, those are cool. Let's take the handles. Where's my wild embossing pad? It's back over here because okay. we're dipping things in it. <laughs> if it's missing, I've moved it out of your way. I've okay. piled it up over here. All right, so we're just doing the scissor part. Dip that into the embossing powder. How easy. She dippity doo dod. <laughs> All right, so what's that one called? It's called Silver Smudge. Okay, I'm excited to see. It's Alchemy Trio. Oh, yes. Perfect. She's not at all excited, guys. Yeah, that, that's amazing. Okay, and then we want, let's do pink party dress handles. Oh, so cute. And... Powder, dip that right in, and skippity doo dah, like Erica says. And <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, did you fingerprint it? Probably. That's okay. Look how cute! It's so adorable. So I have these little scissors. I need a sentiment. Oh, where'd my other set go? It's in that box. I need one of the sentiments, pennies. Um, I what the card's going to be. How about a little something for you? All right. A little something for you. So if you want to get in on this month's Circe and you're not subscribed yet, definitely head over to the shop, shop.catherinepooler.com, hover over the menu and find subscriptions and then find Circe and you can sign up. And we will ship this to you after the 15th. Wendy says she has a pair of scissors that have white handles and black blades. That's fun. You really could make any 
mix. I've seen gold and chrome and bronze scissor blades and stuff. You could just really have a lot of fun with them. You could totally just ink them up in light gray and another color, or you could do them solidly in gray. Um, or you take it up to the next level by adding the embossing powder to give it a little bit more texture and some shine. You guys, hmm? who loves some shine? I love some shine. Yeah. So cute. And then can do this little made with love. Mm. Let's do it in minted. Too cute. This is the February Circe Sneak Yes Heather. So it, if you sign up by the 14th of this month, so by Valentine's Day, um, before you go to sleep on Valentine's Day, <laughs> we will ship it out to you um, a couple days later. So um, that is exciting. You'll have a little surprise in your mailbox. You will be able to sit down, grab your paper and inks, and go to town. I need an ever so slightly teeny... Nancy Wincy little nugget little piece of this that is teensy good grief for that right there the handles are going to be adhered to the embroidery thread haha <laughs> so cute I love how you just tickled yourself <laughs> could do this over here. Oh, I can ease it. Well, you could do whatever you want. Well, you can do you whatever. Can you add want. all sorts of things. The world is your card oyster. That's right. You could add more or less. Whatever you want. Let's do some. You could wrap some actual thread around the oh, yeah. stamped and die cut image. That would be really cute for adding texture. I think I would like this piece to be party dress also. Okay. You got your scrap paper? Oh. Let's just do it right here. Just gently rub your ink pad over your cardstock to color it. So now I have party dress cardstock. Make sure you have your ink refills on hand so you can ink that right back up. Oh, yes. If you have like the pedal connection cover plate, you could sew some stitching into that, like add that as background texture. A lot of our products really mix and match well, um, so you can always enhance what you get in your bundle by checking your crafty stash. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. That peeking out there like that. Oh, and there's also a heart. <laughs> I forgot about this. Don't forget the heart. So let's do a little martini heart. And wow. I think my heart might be that color. <laughs> your, your heart is martini. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> I think it's Mardi Gras. Oh, that's cute. Cute. Oh, no. I'm so sad. I didn't glue this down yet, though. <sighs> I'm going to have to. Oh, just try it over. So, who's like me and gets ink everywhere? Everywhere. All over. There. Super cute. Paints and Glitter is doing some cleaning out in her studio today. This is perfect for any crafty friend. Aren't they so cute, those little scissors? They're just so fun. I just, I want to add more. <laughs> Friends, thank you so much for joining us today. It was great creating with you. I hope you had a great time too, and you are inspired to go to your crafty space and make something for yourself. Make something for a friend. friend. Spread the love. <laughs> and then uh, decompress and have a good time. So we will be back uh, the end of next week is when we start the reveals for our newest collection, which hits the shop on February 22nd. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, have an amazing day, and we will see you again really soon. Yep. Bye, Be guys. sure to subscribe, like, and share so YouTube knows you enjoy our content. 
and then they push us out to more people and that really helps us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We will see you guys really soon. Have a great day.